Hello YouTube. There are some exciting things going on in the grow room and I just wanted to show you guys. Remember this guy? It's the Miltoniopsis Bertfields. The spike is doing well. And what I didn't notice before, actually I think it started maybe later as well, but it was also stuck behind one of the leaves. It was stuck behind that leaf back there I managed to dislodge it it's uh, another spike on the yellow Miltoniopsis but um, I'm not sure if that is yellow I don't know the name because um, the vendor lost the tag for this guy but anyways I hope it is yellow because these the yellow ones smell so good they smell like lemons I think as far as I remember. So I'm happy about this. I'm going to put it back how it was. And I want to show you a few more things. Oh, it's raining outside. Raining outside. But at least it's kind of not below freezing anymore. Okay. More things I wanted to show you. This guy over here is a uh, new stylus. I ordered this guy online. Actually, before I purchased the new stylus last week at the orchid show, this guy I thought wouldn't flower this year, but it did. It has a little spike. See? right there it's kind of hard to miss don't want to touch it i don't want to risk it breaking poor little thing uh, you guys, if you guys saw what happened to the last one uh this guy is my tuber labia modii it's kind of hasn't changed but i don't blame it because it actually fell out of the pot didn't have any roots really um and I'm just surprised that the spike is still on there. The Sideria japonica is opening up. If you can see, there are a few petals that are popping out. So, and the Cycopsis. <laughs> this guy, the spike keeps getting taller and taller. I think I got it when the spike was about half the size as it is right now. So that's cool. And this guy. Oh, I wish I could share the smell of this guy. It smells so good. But the main reason I am making this video is this guy here. It is... Uh, Maria Paniculata. It's also known as Orange Jasmine. I purchased this plant, actually the mother of this plant, three years ago. And last summer, I saw a ripened berry on it. And I planted the seeds. And I got two little plants. And already... The spring it's flowering these guys actually flower on and off all the year round but I didn't know that they start flowering as soon as they hit the ground <laughs> this guy I think has been in this pot for oh, six months it was a seedling I mean it literally was just out of the ground when I potted it in this pot so maybe in six months it started flowering and look at all those buds that are still, those are the obvious, uh, what's going on? These are the obvious big, big buds. And look at the tiny buds over there. So, that's kind of cool, isn't it? Uh, and... The name is Orange Jasmine, so as you can imagine, it smells really nice. The flowers resemble citrus flowers, citrus blossoms, and the fragrance is somewhat like citrus. 
blossoms as well. Last year on our honeymoon in Miami, I remember smelling this flower and I walked half a block before I saw this like six feet tall Maria Paniculata tree. It's a bush tree. Anyways, uh, it was blooming and you could smell it from so far away. So in the high humidity, it really, the fragrance really travels well. Uh, that's why I envy people who live in tropical places, not because of the horrible heat of the summer, which is why I don't really want to live somewhere that hot, but the fragrance of beautiful, like wonderful fragrances just waft in the air. And it just, it doesn't do that over here. Even re uh, really fragrant fa flowers, you kind of have to be n very close to it to smell it. But anyways, I digress. This guy, look how pretty it is. It's so cute. It's tiny. The plant... I don't know, this pot here, I think maybe is three inches in diameter. And that back there is a shot glass. And it has, oh, let me show you. That flower over there is um, actually a new stylus flower. That, um, the branch that broke, it actually bloomed. <laughs> but it didn't have the fragrance. But... Yes, I just want to show you guys this. It's so, it's so cute. I didn't know they can bloom when they're so tiny. But anyways, I actually ordered a few more tropical plants, not orchids, mm. from Top Tropicals. And they, I don't know, when, I think they should be here in a week or two. And I will do an unboxing, I think. And they're also fragrant flowers. And they're... Um, I'm really excited to get them, actually. So I will, I think, start adding a few more tropical flowers that are not orchids to my videos. So, yeah. thank you for watching. Bye.